When it comes to trimming the budget, Thelma Davis says seniors should not have to pay up. I mean, anything that they would cut to me would be very devastating. I would hate to think of what would happen to some of the seniors that receive those services. Those services, like Meals on Wheels, could be in hot water if Congress doesn't make a deal to stop the looming sequester. According to the National Council on Aging, Michigan's nutrition programs would lose almost $1.5 million. This means nearly 900,000 meals lost and about 9,500 seniors would go without meals. While the numbers may seem dire, Tri-County Offices on Aging Executive Director Marion Owens says they'll do everything they can to less the impact on seniors. Would it mean layoffs and furloughs? Maybe furloughs, but I don't, I don't anticipate layoffs. Uh, and we certainly, the last thing we'll do is cut services. She says it's not their first rodeo and they can cope with the cuts if it comes to that. We're pretty creative. We've been through this, not quite to this degree, this fast. Uh, before, but we have some creative staff here and a board that, uh, um, you know, was very creative as well. Programs aiding able-bodied seniors like Congregate Meals may get hit first, but Owen still holds out hope a deal can still be made in Washington. In Lansing, Will Robinson-Smith, 6 News.